Hi, I'm Tom Timbrell of Big Bainan's Blacksmithing. I'm a professional cutler and living historian. I got into blacksmithing while I was at university, in fact. I did some night classes to give it a try, see what it was like, and after a couple of weeks, absolutely loved it. Learning to become a blacksmith and started uh, along that path in earnest, um, everyone's reactions were actually very supportive. I mean, for the most part, you tell people, oh, you're gonna become a blacksmith. They're like, cool, that's fantastic. Um, I know there were a few people who thought, oh, it's just Tom being weird. Um, and that's perfectly fine as well. It's not every day someone does come up and say that's the route they're going to take in life. Uh, I think it started with maybe about 400 pounds sharing a hand-pumped Victorian forge with uh, another buying as cheap an anvil as I could get hold of and a couple of bags of uh, coal to go on the fire. Using whatever scrap metal I could get hold of, making things like little bottle openers and key rings at a living history site uh, in Stratford. Setting myself a challenge to see if I could sell enough each day to just make 80 pounds. And if I could do that, I could build up um, an enough income. Yeah, after about seven, eight years, the business itself is fully, fully self-sufficient. A cutler traditionally is someone who works on making uh, bladed items such as scissors uh, and knives. Uh, blacksmithing to me um, is very much about artistic work uh, these days. Um, but the real key for myself, it has to involve heating up metal and actually changing the shape. The use of uh, traditional methods in blacksmithing is very important to me because although it's perfectly acceptable, perfectly fine to be making knives by laser cutting out the shapes, and, but we do need to keep these crafts, these traditional methods going. We have to keep an integrity within the craft that shows that we can do this by hand. Today, 21st century, being a knife maker can have some negative connotations. Uh, people can look on it with a bit of suspicion. The vast majority of us, making knives isn't about making something um, that will be used to hurt someone. It's actually about making um, a functional, useful tool that is also a work of art and you can appreciate and be proud of.